sense of you being in government that's what we're saying you know I work at a school that is 60 years old 60 years old and I swear by the time they get around to even renovating it I'll probably retire out of the system I work at a school that is 60 years old so there's a lot of little problems a lot of cosmetic problems today in, in one of the buildings there was no running water so what does that tell you when you don't have running water, you gotta go home. Cause where the kids gonna go? In the bush? So, clearly, if you don't understand what you're doing, hire proper people to fix these problems. And if you don't know what you're doing, hire somebody who knows what they're doing. That's all we're saying. You know, don't wait until the last minute because clearly it's a problem. Afternoon, the nurses are out here from JFL to support the teachers, but also to talk about our own problems that we're having. The governor received over $546 million for COVID relief. The hospital never saw any of that. The nurses never saw any of that. We've been promised COVID incentives, um, bonuses, retention packages. We've been here since Maria, and now we've been here since COVID. We showed up. We showed up when there was COVID, we showed up when people were dying, we showed up when we didn't know what it was, when people were scared, and we're still here, and we're still dealing with COVID. We have a moldy hospital, the nurses are literally sick, and they still come to work. The conditions in JSL are deplorable, and we still show up. Our nursing contract is expired. It's been expired for years. When we tried to get talks, they told us that other unions are more important or that they need to go. How are the nurses not the most important people right now when we're the ones who've been dealing with the, what the whole world is concentrated on for the past two years? We have low staffing at JFL. Our ICU unit right now only has three staff nurses. That means we have to bring outside nurses, pay those nurses five times for the JFL nurse pay. And we have to sit there and we have to make sure that they're doing what's right. Because we're just here for the now. And when they leave, we have to be here for you, the Virgin Islands. So when we're taking care of you, who's taking care of us? With the time and the platform that I have, I just want to address you all as a as a whole and tell you that you know we appreciate you coming out. We the administration has been working to address many of your concerns. Of course, if 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 there was some if there was a magic fix to everything that that needs addressing, we would have we we, 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 we would certainly appreciate. There are a number of initiatives that the administration has embarked on, and we are continuously and steadfastly working on those initiatives, and we are moving forward. Our hospital don't have enough nurses. Our clinics don't have enough. Nurses. Our buildings are full of mold. Our contract has expired and we've been bamboozled by the OCBA director. With email back and forth to her, she has not answered. You understand what I'm saying to you? Okay? Most of our hospital infrastructure is damaged. There's no running water in certain rooms. We have one good operating room, and that means 
means that I have to triage, I have to decide who's going to go to that war. And that means you're not going to go, either you're going to go up or you're going to go down. It is wrong. It's against CMS rules. And that's the next step we will take. Yes. I'm going to keep this simple. We need it fixed. You have the money, fix the schools. The children are our future. You can't have successful people, successful businesses, successful government without the youth of today. What, have, what you do today will affect tomorrow. You have the money, fix the schools, fix the hospitals because anybody can get hurt or injured here. We only have one hospital on this island and it is in no condition to receive people, much less treat people. Fix it now. We don't want tomorrow. We don't want summer pass and so and new school year start and it's not fixed. Fix it now. You have the money. You have cabinet members. You could put this agency and that agency together for anything and everything. But you have the school and you have the money. Fix it now. Thank you.